we've got what they call the hot rod Buick, 1955 Century. So the Century is on the smaller, cheaper, special body style, but it's decked out with all the trim and it has the Roadmaster engine and this fourth porthole designates the Roadmaster engine under the hood. The uh, lesser models have just three portholes. This has been body off frame restored, glove soft leather upholstery, the wire wheels, the whole nine yards. Top is down, let's go for a spin. You can go to volocars.com where you can find the price tag on this one and every car we have for sale along with the monthly payment as well. So starting up front here, very handsome car. The hood is excellent, the fender is excellent. I mean absolutely straight, painted Cherokee red and it is like glass, nice bright red, beautiful finish. All down here is smooth, the gaps are nice, smooth, no bubbles, no bumps, no damage. I don't even see any chips or cracking. The paint is stunning. This is in beautiful shape. All of this is excellent. I'm looking at the body and the paint. Really, really nice shape. Smooth, glossy, straight. I don't see any problem areas, no issues, no rust. Even painted all up in the wheel well. The whole bottom of the car is painted gloss red. All smooth, nice. Yeah, all along the bottom here is smooth. The body and paint's excellent. You'd have to look pretty darn hard to find a, a flaw in the paint. So all the trim. It's got the optional trim around the fuel door. It's all restored. Any bit of stainless is straightened and polished. I love that, that spear that runs up the body there, the century emblem, that's really cool. Even the lock is shiny, the door handle, the whole vent window frame, windshield frame, the mirrors, all of that up here, the grill, it's all in beautiful shape. Power antenna works, I just tried it. The headlights and turn signals and bumper. I, I like the honeycomb grill that's back here. That's a solid piece too. Little bit of tarnishing in the chrome right in the groove right there. I'll say the front end is like an eight or nine out of 10. I mean, it looks like a 10 from here. The portholes are real nice. If I mention the windshield itself is crystal clear. Yeah, all the trim, all the chrome and trim is outstanding. Sitting on the uh, Kelsey Hayes 40 spoke uh, wire wheels, the red, white, and blue spinners, reproduction white wall tires at all four corners. Big tail light, look at all that chrome. It's all sparkling, all beautiful. The Buick emblem, the bumper, everything back here is really sharp looking. The convertible top is a black convertible top, black vinyl in excellent shape. There's pictures of it on our website. It's also power. So why don't we open it up, show you what that interior looks like. All right, I'm going to show you a beautiful trunk compartment. You can see the underside is painted real nice, has the sticker and the latch is clean and the weather strip looks new. But look inside here, it's lined wall to wall with the uh, correct uh, tan square stitched insulated pad. And I really like this. This is a matching tire and wheel with the spinner. When a guy pays the extra for a fifth matching spare, that means they weren't cutting corners. The jack is restored. That's a beautiful trunk compartment. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click the bell icon, and you'll be notified as we keep posting them. The door jams are slick. The weather strips are replaced and fit nicely. And check out the cool door panel with that waffle pattern chrome trim. And the lower half uh, looks like it's actually wrapped in leather. Uh, power windows. The dash is painted just as slick as the car. All the metal is beautiful. The instrument panel is all shiny and chrome. And the instruments and all the, all the knobs and switches and levers, all that's in excellent shape. As the machine turned trim. Glove box liners new. Oh, we must have a hidden stereo, or maybe that's got a conversion. I'll check more into that. We've got a stereo hiding somewhere. Kick panels, 
real nice. It has the tight square uh, weave carpet that's supposed to be in here. Now the seats, you can see this is gloved soft leather. They did add some seat belts in the front, uh, but all genuine leather wrapped around the seats. Uh, same thing in back. This is all leather. The interior lights work, the armrest, the waffle trim on the sides. All that's in beautiful shape. The top boot could fit a little better. It looks like they're in a bit of a hurry when they installed that. I mean, that that's nothing. Uh, steering wheel's beautiful. I love the Buick emblem. Like it's coming out at you. And I even looked up under the dash. It's nice and clean and restored. Then he has the day night mirror. That's an option, and the visors are redone. It's a classy car. Now, I know they said this is the Buick Hot Rod, and back in 55, it would be. It was the smaller body with the bigger engine, but it's a 322, making a whopping 236 horsepower. So by today's standards, not really a hot rod. Uh, but it is a four-barrel V8 motor. They called it their Fireball 8. All restored right back to the way it would have been. The air cleaner, the carburetor, the lines, the stickers, you know, the covers, all of this. See how the wires are run? That's all proper. All the components, the heater blower, all this is restored, all painted. You can tell it was all disassembled and apart. The wiring looks like it was replaced. And this does feature power steering. It also has power brakes, uh, washer squirters, has a reproduction Delco battery, not just a topper, but it's the whole battery. It has hood insulation under the hood. Uh, so yeah, beautiful motor compartment. Uh, the hood, I guess, is touching the fender. I didn't notice that. We are gonna color match that and we will brush touch it so it will not be noticeable. But these cars in general, be very careful closing the hoods. It's just the way they are. If you're careful and do it like I do, you'll be fine. If you grab one corner and slam it, that's what you're going to get. So now Caleb's going to take you for a drive. Hope you enjoy it. So I couldn't wait to take this one out. We are in the 55 Buick. When's the last time you've seen one? I know it's been a long time for us coming into the museum. You know, you see the mid 50 Chevys all the time, but this is a car you will not find. I'm very excited to be driving it right now. We got the full power interior. I'm gonna roll the windows up uh, just cause it is a little windy and cooler out. But we got the top down because why not? It is a convertible after all. Power windows all work pretty nicely. Steering's tight on it. We're cruising. Oh, this thing is literally art on wheels. Uh, I just, I love the style. I wish we could go back in time, honestly. Power brakes work nice. Let's see if the turn signals light up. Turn signal lights up. Let's see if it cancels. Uh, I do have the heater on, so that's working. Let's see what she's got. Slow and steady wins the race, right? That's okay, you don't need to win any races. It's very enjoyable driving it how it is. Floats over the bumps, steering feels good, it's driving straight down the road, no shakes, no wobbles, look at that, we're in a 1955 right now guys, look at how nice it's driving, what an amazing car. Now for service, uh, we are replacing or rebuilding the uh, wiper motor that was sent out. It's being repaired. 
Uh, so that will be functional by the time of the sale. Power antenna works, check this out. If you want to talk to aliens, you can definitely do that. This thing goes to outer space. It's gonna keep going and going and going. I think we maxed it out. That thing's gotta be at least three feet tall. Retracts. Don't think the speakers are hooked up or something, but the radio, it does turn on, but I don't hear any sound. We're cruising. Such a fun, nostalgic car. Uh, all the gauges are working on the dash, the speedometer. There you have it. Body off the frame restored. You know, restoring a 55 Buick is not like restoring a Camaro or a Mustang. This is a lot more involved, expensive, uh, more expensive to do. Uh, I feel what we're asking for this car, probably about half the cost of what it costs to restore one today. So anyway, body was off the frame. The floors are all clean metal, all painted this red. The entire chassis, suspension, brakes, steering, that was all apart when they restored it, all rebuilt. Uh, it has a correct single exhaust system. You don't hear this car running. You don't even feel it. It's just so smooth. Um, <clears throat> the fuel tank, fuel system, everything was redone. You look up at the motor, it's clean. The transmission is the optional Dynaflow automatic uh, that it came with. And everything under there, again, is beautiful. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can talk to the salesman. They'll help answer your questions. They can help get this delivered to your door. They'll help get it financed at volocars.com. Hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe. Click the bell icon to be notified when the next one's posted. Thanks for watching.